In this video, I'll be revealing my personal ratings on every nootropic I've ever tried. But that's not all. I'm going to categorize them into three groups. The ones you should avoid at all costs, the ones you can consider for occasional use, and the ones that are so effective and safe that you should consider buying them right away. Of course, before you start adding any of these brain-boosting supplements to your routine, it is important to consult with your doctor first. But once you do, you'll be well on your way to unlocking your full cognitive potential. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive into the world of nootropics together. Hi friends, and welcome to Your Inception's YouTube channel. My name is Greg Ostinkar, and on this channel, we are on the hunt for the best products, nootropics, and supplements to boost brain performance. If that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So let's start with 5-HTP. Now 5-HTP is an amino acid that regulates serotonin and other brain chemicals for relaxation, sleep, and appetite satisfaction. It easily crosses the blood-brain barrier where it converts to serotonin. It is also known to decrease appetite and reduce sleep terrors. The recommended dosage is 300 to 500 milligrams. And I think you should consider 5-HTP. Then we have acetyl-L-carnitine, a derivative from an amino acid that can boost your cognitive and physical performance. It is naturally produced in your body, so it doesn't make much sense to supplement it. It can enhance mitochondria energy and it may improve your memory and mental alertness. Now, the recommended daily dosage is 500 to 2000 mg per day. I don't think you need it, so I think you should avoid it. Alpha lipoic acid. Now, alpha lipoic acid is a fat soluble antioxidant that can cross the blood brain barrier and help protect the brain against aging. It is a synthetic form of lipoic acid which can eliminate free radicals in your brain. It may improve memory and enhance energy levels. And the recommended daily dosage is 300 to 600 milligrams. And I think you should consider it. Alpha GPC. Now, alpha GPC is a choline compound needed for a healthy brain and body functioning. It supports memory and fights against cognitive decline. Supplementing shows positive effects on our memory, focus, learning, and overall cognition. And the recommended daily dosage is 300 to 600 milligrams. Now, alpha GPC is one of the best nootropics for brain function, so I think you should buy it. And Enrestem. Enrestem is two to five times stronger than normal Enrestem, and it is primarily used for creativity, holistic thinking, memory, and reducing anxiety. The synthetic nootropic may improve learning, memory, and cognition. Also, it can reduce stress. Now, since this is a synthetic nootropic without lots of studies, questionable safety, and illegal status in many countries, including in the EU, I think you should avoid it. Artichoke extract. Now, artichoke is a plant that is known for several benefits, including lowering cholesterol, liver health, and antioxidant properties. It is also a PDE4 inhibitor. Now, this nootropic is often supplemented for improving memory, cognition, and protecting the brain. The optimal daily dosage has not been established yet, and I think you should consider supplementing this nootropic. By the way, what are your favorite nootropics? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, let's continue with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen root herb with benefits for mental energy, stress resistance, and mood. It has been used in Ayurveda medicine for centuries, and it is one of the most popular adaptogens on the market. The recommended daily dosage is 300 to 500 mg taken with a meal. Now, ashwagandha is one of the best nootropics on the market, so I think you should buy it. Astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a potent antioxidant found in algae that may offer some brain protecting activity. Now, it is less research compared to lutein, but it seems to be very potent. The recommended daily dosage is 6 to 8 mg, and yeah, I think you should consider it. Astragalus. Now, astragalus is a herb used in traditional Chinese medicine that is known for its anti-aging and anti-inflammatory effects. It is one of the traditional nootropics that hasn't been well researched, uh, but it seems to be highly effective and very, very potent. Now, we don't know the optimal daily intake, but most supplements generally contain from 200 mg to 1000 mg of a quality extract. Now, this is a great nootropic for longevity and overall immunity, so I think you should buy it. Bacopa munieri. Now, bacopa is a herb used in traditional medicine for improving memory, focus, and also reducing stress. It is one of the most popular nootropics available on the market right now. The recommended daily dosage is about 300 milligrams. Now, bacopa is one of my favorite nootropics, so I think you should definitely buy it. Bramantan. Bramantan is a synthetic nootropic, or also a smart drug, that was developed in Russia, and that may boost physical and mental performance. Due to the lack of research, its complicated legal status, I think you should avoid this drug until we know more about it. Then we have caffeine. I don't want to spend too much time 
talking about caffeine. As you know, it's a strong booster that comes with many side effects. If you take it now and then, that's fine, but daily use is probably not recommended. So overall, yes, you can consider it. CBD. CBD is a very popular cannabis-derived compound used to treat anxiety. It can help people with chronic pain, reduce inflammation, and decrease symptoms of schizophrenia. And I think you should consider buying CBD. Silastra spaniculatus is a woody shrub seed used in Ayurvedic herbalism that may help with overall brain health. It may also promote intestinal health. Now, studies on rats show that this plant can reduce cholesterol and even improve cognition. Now, this is a tropic with a lot of potential, so I think you should consider it. Then we have chaga mushroom. Chaga is becoming more and more popular due to its potential health benefits. Recent studies show that supplementing chaga can boost your immune system, a lower blood sugar and cholesterol, and provide anti-inflammatory effects. Now, the optimal daily dosage is 500 to 1,500 milligrams. Now, I love natural and effective nootropics, and hence, I highly recommend taking chaga. Citicoline. Citicoline is a naturally produced substance used for enhancing memory, improving mood, and cognitive function. Now, this bioavailable source of choline can easily cross the blood-brain barrier on itself. And once it gets to the body, it cooperates in the uh, synthesis of acetylcholine, the learning neurotransmitter. It is as good as alpha GPC or even better. So go ahead and buy it. Coenzyme Q10. A coenzyme Q10 is a molecule produced in the body that has a critical role in producing energy for the body. Studies show that supplementing coenzyme Q10 can help with fertility, skin aging. It could reduce headaches, boost exercise performance and help with immunity. The standard daily dosage is 100 to 400 milligrams. Now, coenzyme Q10 is a vitamin-like substance, which I think you should consider supplementing. Cordyceps. Cordyceps is another popular medicinal mushroom that may boost exercise performance, um, has anti-aging properties, and can help you fight inflammation. Now, the general recommended daily intake is 500 to 3000 milligrams. I think cordyceps is a very potent mushroom, so I think you should buy it. DMAE is a choline molecule and is active compound of centrophenoxin, a popular nootropic drug. It is used for optimizing brain cell structure, but it might as well help with mood, cognitive decline, and attention. Now, due to the lack of research, I think you should avoid it for now. Forscoline. Forscoline is made of a root plant in the mind family that might help with weight loss. This entropic, which is native to South Asia, is often combined with the artichoke extract to boost CAMP levels. It may enhance memory in healthy individuals. Now, it doesn't seem to be very effective entropic, so you can avoid it. GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter and an amino acid that can help people relax. It may also improve sleep. Now, GABA cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, so it is often combined with other nootropics. Its efficacy is questionable, but I think it's an nootropic with a lot of potential, so you can consider it. Green tea extract. Green tea extract is a potent nootropic that contains EGCG and caffeine, two very potent phytochemicals. Supplementing green tea may boost brain health, help with promoting weight loss, blood sugar regulation, and speed up exercise recovery. The recommended daily intake is between 50 and 500 milligrams. Now, green tea is a great nootropic, and I think you should just go and buy it. Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is one of the most popular nootropics on the market. It seems very effective for decreasing cognitive decline and enhancing memory in the elderly. However, it doesn't seem so effective for healthy individuals. The recommended daily dosage is 120 to 240 milligrams. Now, if you're older, you should consider it. Otherwise, there are better nootropics on the market. Ginseng is another traditional Chinese plant used for several benefits, including increasing your energy, decreasing stress, and boosting your immune system. Now, there are many types of ginseng on the market, with panic ginseng being the true ginseng. The recommended daily dosage is 200 to 400 milligrams. Now, ginseng is great, so I think you should buy it. Guarana. Guarana is another source of caffeine, so the same is true for it as for caffeine. You can consider using it now and then. Huperzin A. Huperzin A is a plant extract with cholinergic properties. It works by slowing down the acetylcholine degradation. It seems especially useful for older adults, but it may enhance cognition in healthy individuals as well. The recommended daily dosage is uh, 50 to 200 micrograms. Yeah, this is a potent tropic that you need to cycle it to avoid overdose, so I think you should consider it. Kratom. Kratom is a very risky traditional Asian herb that is believed to promote feelings of calmness. Now, drug addicts often supplement it for withdrawals from other drugs. It may help uh, depress people, but it's considered unsafe, and therefore I think you should avoid it. L-phenylalanine. L-phenylalanine is an amino acid needed for clear mental function. 
It's a building block of protein and is used for depression, ADHD, weight loss, and several other reasons. L-phenylalanine converts to L-tyrosine, which boosts dopamine levels. Now, you should be careful about such nootropics, but I think you can consider it. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid found in green tea that promotes relaxation and creativity. It is one of the most popular amino acids and nootropics on the market. People often combine it with caffeine to enhance caffeine effects. The recommended daily dosage is 100 to 200 milligrams. Now, L-theanine is a great nootropic and I think you should buy it. Then we have L-tryptophan. L-tryptophan is an essential amino acid that helps our bodies make proteins. It's also an nootropic used for relaxation and improving sleep quality. Now, this amino acid is especially beneficial for people who suffer from depression. And I think you should consider it. Lemon balm, also named Melissa officinalis, is a traditional herb that promotes calmness and induces sleep. Despite the lack of studies, it may be beneficial for improving cognition as well. It also decreases alertness. And the recommended daily dosage is about 300 milligrams. Yeah, I think you should consider it. Then we have lion's mane mushroom. Lion's mane mushroom is a medicinal mushroom that induces nerve growth factor. It's a promising cognitive enhancer. It can decrease anxiety, help people with depression, and slow down cognitive decline. The recommended daily dosage is 500 to 1000 milligrams. Now, lion's mane is quite ineffective for short-term use, but great for long-term use, so I think you should buy it. MCT oil. MCT oil is a highly saturated type of coconut oil. It supports the use of ketones for brain energy and is helpful for mental clarity. Among other benefits, MCT oil may improve processing speed in people. You need to be careful to avoid consuming too much of saturated fat, but a small dosage now and then can be beneficial, so you can consider it. Melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that promotes sleep and helps people restore circadian rhythm. The recommended daily intake is 500 micrograms to 5 milligrams. Now, it's not recommended to take melatonin daily, only when needed, so you should consider using it now and then. Modafinil. Modafinil is not an nootropic, but a drug that helps people with narcolepsy, sleep apnea, or shift work sleep disorder. Since this is a drug, I only recommend taking it if it is prescribed to you by a doctor. Unlike other nootropics on our list, modafinil comes with many serious side effects, and it's not recommended to take it daily, so be careful with it. Mucuna prurians. Mucuna prurians is a precursor to the formation of dopamine. This nootropic can increase adrenaline, decrease cortisol, help to reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, and it may improve your subjective well-being. The recommended daily dosage is 5 grams of dried powder. And I think you should be careful about it, but you can consider using it. Omega-3 fatty acids are one of the best nootropics that I take daily because of its many benefits. We know that supplementing omega-3 may prevent anxiety and depression, it may improve eye health, it may boost brain health, it may reduce ADHD and lead to a dozen other health benefits. And the recommended daily intake is between 1 to 2 grams. So I think you should go to the store and buy it. And by the way, I always use a plant-based omega 3s because they are of the highest quality possible. Then we have nicotine. Nicotine is an nootropic with relatively powerful brain-boosting benefits. Nicotine can activate acetylcholine receptors, it works as a fat burner, and it may increase cognition. Now, I don't like nicotine too much, so I would just avoid it. Nupept. Nupept is a very popular nootropic that shows a positive impact on brain function. It is structurally similar to piracetam, so it may provide similar effects. It's a great nootropic for its stimulatory properties. But due to the lack of studies, its problematic legal status and potential risks, I would avoid it. And the same is true for our next nootropic, oxyracetam. Then we have Finibat. Finibat is a very controversial nootropic that might help with mood issues. Now, structurally, it is similar to GABA, but it's primarily used as a recreational drug. People use it to treat fear, anxiety, stress, fatigue, etc. Now, I think it's too risky to take it, so I would just avoid it. Piracetam, phenylpiracetam, and primiracetam. Now, all those synthetic nootropics show some potential, but I would avoid them until we know more about the safety, actual effects, and long-term use. Phosphatidylserine is a very popular nootropic for memory boosting. By definition, it is an amino acid that is naturally found in our brains. Now, studies show that supplementing PS may enhance memory in the elderly, slow down cognitive decline, and decrease stress. And the recommended daily dosage is 100 milligrams per day, which you can take up to three times. Now, this is a great nootropic, so yeah, you can definitely go and buy it. Pterostilbene. Pterostilbene is a powerful antioxidant found in berries. It is a derivative of resveratrol and much better absorbed. The optimal daily dosage has not been established yet, but I think you can still consider using it. PQQ. PQQ is another powerful antioxidant that was once thought to be a vitamin. 
it has neuroprotective function in the elderly, and it may boost mitochondria. So you should consider this one as well. Then we have resveratrol. Resveratrol is a red wine antioxidant that supports healthy brain aging. It may increase lifespan, modulate pressure in the blood, and it has many other antioxidant benefits. Now, resveratrol seems one of the nootropics with great potential for anti-aging. But the optimal daily dosage has not been established, so you can consider it, but do your research before using it. Reishi mushroom. Reishi is yet another mushroom that can boost your immune system, it could fight fatigue and help with depression, and also provide strong antioxidant effects. It's a great nootropic that has been used for centuries. Now, the standard dosage is somewhere between 1.5 to 5.2 grams, even though many supplements contain a much lower dosage that is probably even better for long-term use. I think Reishi is one of the best nootropics, and hence you should just go to the store and buy it. Rhodiola rosea. Rhodiola rosea is an adaptogen herb that optimizes mental energy and physical endurance. It can reduce fatigue and depression. It can also enhance cognition. Now, this is one of my favorite nootropics on the market. The recommended dosage is between 50 to 680 milligrams, and yes, I think you should definitely buy it. Shisandra berry. Shisandra berry is an Asian berry that may help to protect your brain. It has been traditionally used for reducing anxiety and cortisol levels. Now, the recommended dosage has not been established yet, so I think you can consider it or just avoid it for now. And the same is true for St. John's Wort. But if you decide to buy it, consult your doctor before that. Shilajit. Shilajit is a natural compound found mostly in the Himalayas. Studies show that Shilajit can help with Alzheimer's disease, it can help with memory, boost testosterone levels, slow down aging, and even provide a few other health benefits. The recommended daily intake is 300 to 500 milligrams. Due to the early stage of research, I think you should consider this potential tropic. Taurine. Taurine is a very popular amino acid that regulates cell-to-cell -cell communication. It may be beneficial for diabetics, it increases blood flow, and it has been studied for several other potential benefits. The recommended daily dosage has not been established yet, and while I don't think it's dangerous, you can avoid it for now. Theobromine. Tubermine is a popular caffeine-like compound that might have stimulating effects and boost blood flow. It is found in coca products, including chocolate. And I think you can definitely consider buying it. By the way, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance, but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz, link below, to get personalized recommendations that will be the perfect choice for you. Let's continue with Tongat Ali. Tongat Ali is known as a male enhancement herb. It is a pro-fertility agent, a pro-erectile agent, and an anti-estrogen. Studies show that it may improve subjective well-being, decrease stress, and even weight. The recommended dosage is 200 to 300 milligrams. Now, if you need Tongat Ali, you should definitely consider using it. Tyrosine. Tyrosine, or L-tyrosine, is an amino acid with a powerful impact on our brain function. It is used to produce two essential neurotransmitters, dopamine and noradrenaline. It is especially useful for people in stressful situations. Now, the recommended dosage is 500 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams. And yeah, I think it's a great nootropic to consider. Uridine monophosphate. Uridine is an nootropic that has the potential to protect the brain from degeneration. We currently like human studies to confirm any uridine benefits, but based on the available studies, it seems to be quite promising. So I think you should consider using it. Valerian is an ancient root herb that may work by sustaining GABA levels. It is often used in herbal teas for its anti-anxiety properties. It may enhance sleep quality, but is an even better relaxing agent. The recommended dosage is up to 450 milligrams. And if you struggle with sleep, I think you should definitely go and buy it. Vimpositin. Now, Vimpositin is a compound found in the periwinkle plant and one of the best brain circulation boosters. It may enhance memory, decrease pulse rating, and reaction time, and it may even slow down cognitive decline. The recommended dosage is 15 to 60 milligrams. Now, due to the recent research, I think you should currently avoid it. Yerba mate. Yerba mate is made out of South American tea leaves and is one of my favorite energy and focus boosters. It provides the positive effects of caffeine without its side effects, and it delivers very long-lasting focus that leads to increased productivity. The recommended daily intake is 300 to 1,000 milligrams. Now, personally, I love Yerba mate, and I think you should just go to the store and buy it right away. B vitamins. Now, they're essential for multiple functions in the brain, but I think the most important you should use is vitamin B12. Now, instead of buying all of these nootropics individually, you can just grab the most effective nootropic stack on the market. But which is that? Well, watch up my next video up here.
Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.